So my very first role, uh, I was actually very lucky. I ended up playing Winthrop in The Music Man when I was 11 years old. Uh, and uh, I went in and auditioned. There were about five of us going for Winthrop. Uh, and he's a very, Winthrop the character, he has a lisp um, and he's very nervous and shy. He doesn't like to talk to a lot of people. And I was so nervous. I was shaking the whole time, visibly, they could see it, uh, but they thought I was acting, so I got the part. So what do you know? It kind of was thrust upon me. I didn't really realize. Um, I have Jen uh, to thank for that, actually. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I've been working with Ain't Seen Nothing Yet Productions for a number of years uh, for my dear friend Jennifer Fontaine. She and I both went to school uh, at the Canadian College of Performing Arts in Victoria, British Columbia. After we graduated, uh, Jen wanted to have a business meeting with me and informed me of the birth of Ain't Seen Nothing Yet Incorporated. Um, and she invited me to come out and direct. What has helped also is doing the Ain't Seen Nothing Yet summer camp. Uh, we tried for the first time in 2008 uh, to do an official six-week uh, intensive summer camp. Uh, Mary Perry, you were involved with that. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we learned tons. At, I'd say more than any other time, I really learned during doing You're in Town that I really love directing. It's an interesting experience, to say the least. Um, I prefer to do one or the other. Um, it presents numerous challenges uh, taking on both. You're in town uh, was a lot of a lot of fun. Um, often my character was not on stage, so I got to be off and be the director. But uh, when I was on stage. I could plan out where everyone else was. Often that was that was you, Mary Pierre, uh, and we could work on our relationship between the two characters. We were both playing. You were playing um, Officer Barrel. I was playing Officer Lockstock, and uh, obviously there's a great deal of interplay going on with those two those two officers throughout the show. Um, so most of the directing was in figuring out that between us. So again, it comes back to that teamwork. Uh, so far, performing and directing in the same show uh, has been mostly because of teamwork. Uh, that's why it's been successful. Uh... Well, you know what, there are a lot of factors that go into that. Um, Obviously, there's quite a process as a director in casting someone in your show. You go through a series of auditions, you're looking at different aspects. How are they as an actor, uh, meaning how can they portray emotional depth when they're on stage? So if they're feeling angry, if they're feeling sad, if they're happy, if they're scared, uh, how do they emit those emotions to the audience? So you want to see that they're uh, skilled in that area to some extent. Obviously when you're doing musicals, um, whether they can sing the part or not plays a huge role in whether they're perfect for the role. Um, but also there's that element of, of movement, not always dancing, but movement. Um, and there are certain things, certain people come into a show and, uh, or they come into an audition rather, and they just sparkle with something uh, and it has to do with the way they carry themselves uh, what is their musculature how are they standing um, are they grounded how how do they move into the space and people give off a certain energy so when you pair their energy to the character in the show sometimes the energy matches right up like this person walks into the room and they have that that air, that sense of being that the character in the show needs to be. And that's a great cue as to whether or not that person alone, just being who they are coming to the audition,
can pull off that character. Um, but of course also, if they can sing the part, and sing the part well, well, that's a given. So now, looking ahead, ten years from today, um, so much can happen on a career level. I would like to have performed in New York. I would absolutely adore having had the opportunity to um, to perform in London's West End. Um, I would hope that I had spent quite a bit of time traveling, touring around the world. Come on along and listen to